Let's turn now to security matters. Five persons suspected to be involved in kidnap for ransom in Sokoto and neighboring states have been arrested by operatives of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. The suspects were accused of organizing and perpetrating the kidnap of three persons within Sokoto Metropolis and collecting over six million naira in ransom before releasing them. They are also suspect, suspected of cattle rustling with the support of some notable persons in the society who are now mounting pressure on the security agencies to release the suspect. Also paraded were some suspected political thugs accused of attacking personnel of the NSCDC with a machete alongside two female accomplices in possession of hard drugs and other weapons. Let's turn now to politics. Kogi West Senator Smart Adeyemi has urged Nigerians to set aside religious and ethnic sentiments and support Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu and his running mate at the 2023 presidential election. He says they have the capacity and the competence to develop and implement programs that will fast track economic growth and development. National Assembly correspondent Tijesu Adeyemi reports. Support for the Tinubu Shatima presidential ticket is swelling as many jump on the bandwagon of campaigns. The lawmaker representing Kogi West Senatorial District, Smart Adeyemi, has openly declared his support for the APC's presidential candidate and he will also bring his supporters on board. He says the concerns raised by the Christian Association of Nigeria about the same faith ticket of the party are genuine, but Nigerians must begin to assess candidates based on their track records and antecedents and ignore political and religious sentiments. My support for them as individuals is not based on the fact that they are members of the APC or because they are Muslims, as I am a Christian myself. It is simply because it is simply based on my knowledge of them as individuals. It is based on their track records and their antecedents and comments and remarks by notable Nigerians about these two candidates. For me, I do not look at people on the basis of your tribe or your religion. I look at the content of the man and what people say about the individual. Senator Smart Adeyemi insists that based on his conviction, despite the same fate ticket, Tinubu and Shatima are the best for the country come 2023. And I stand here on my own, willingly to tell you that it is not a bad thing you will have them to rule Nigeria. There are people who are well educated and people with the heart that is required for national unity and the emancipation of our nation. In my view, the two candidates who have been presented by our party are well equipped to tackle issues of economy and security challenges. I hold the view. As the countdown to the 2023 general election begins, Senator Smart has urged Nigerians to confront these issues in a manner that will not obstruct the fabric of national unity, peace and stability in the interest of democracy. TJ Swadiri, News, Abuja.